What's good, guys? If you need to make your ultimate team stronger, go to u7buy.com and buy yourself some cheap and reliable FC25 coins. Once you guys head over to u7buy.com, go to the save coin section. Make sure to use my discount code DAN at checkout for 6% off. Once again, head over to u7buy.com. Whenever you guys want to purchase coins on making your team better, add a discount discount code dan get yourself a nice six percent off on making that ultimate team better yo youtube what's going on welcome to another video to the channel y'all boys and today we got a big player to review it's going to be 90 rated rude hullet yes sir yes sir we are looking at card 6-3 on the height acceleration type is controlled lengthy four star skill moves with that five star weak foot combination preferred foot is the right foot 85 pace, 88 shooting, 88 passing, 86 dribbling, 80 defending, 87 physicality as well. Play styles that he comes with, chip shot, power shot, power header, rapid, all on basic. And the one gold play style that he has is the aerial play style. Now you shift over to the roll section as a box to box and as an advanced forward, he gets one plus sign. As a shadow striker, he gets a double plus sign. Very nice right there. Going back to the stats on this card, What's the camp style you want to give him? Well, it completely depends on the position you're going to play him. If you want to play him as a center mid, as a cam, or even as a striker. For today's video, we're going to give him the shadow cam style. I might switch over to the hunter, but for now it's going to be the shadow. Acceleration 91, sprint speed 94, defending goes up to the high 80s, which is absolutely amazing. Passing, looking really nice. Shooting, looking really nice as well, along with that 92 stamina. Mr. Hullet is going to be playing with this team right here. Shout out to the homie, the supervisor, for lending us the account. In a 4-2-4 formation, actually, I don't know why he's in a 4-4-2. Hold up. Give me one second, boys. There we go. 4-2-4 formation, and we're going to be using Hullet as a box-to-box -box right next to Putella. So he's going to get that box-to-box -box roll. I want to test out his body. I want to see how Hullet is this year. Is he really meta offensively and defensively? Because we all know Hullet usually... It's pretty meta every single year. Now, by the time I am recording this video, as you guys expect, Hullet, one of the most expensive players in EFC 25, he's over 6 million coins. I'm hearing a lot of hype about Hullet this year, saying this is his best year since FIFA 19, since FIFA 20. We're going to play some games in foot champs and possibly division rivals and see if this card is the best midfielder in EFC 25. Very nice interception. Good try. Oof. Good try right there. Nice interception once again. A good layout to Cruyff. That's going to be an assist for Hullet. We move. It's a great through ball to Mbappe. Oh, that's a cook. That's another cook. What a finish. What a play. The step over animation able to cook that CB. He just glided past him. Look at that. That was nice. A little bit of a through ball. And that's going to be a nice ball to Sun. Wow. What a pass from Hullet. Able to keep onto the ball. As you guys can see, very nice shielding. Unlucky. Oh, man, look at that physicality. Look at that physicality. Hullet just sent Saliba to the floor right there. That was amazing. Look at that Insta replay. Wow. Just impeccable. Wow. Nice defensive tackle from the back. That was great defending. Not bad. Not that bad of a turn. Great through ball once again from the card. Oh, good try, good try. Lasso, power shot, boys. Power shot on basic. Nice finish. Great tackle, man. This man wins every single one on one tackle. That's a foul, yeah. I was about to say, man. Oh, 
What a layoff. Nice layoff from Hull. It's going to be another assist in this game for the card. Let's go. Nice finish. Nice little run. Love to see that. And I believe this guy is going to leave the game. It's literally been two minutes into the game. Oh, what a through ball from Hullet to Mbappe. Unlucky. Hullet back post. Amazing ball to Caroline Hansen. Another assist for the card, man. Very nice defensive tackle right there. A little bit of a counter attack. We got Hullet on the run. Gonna see if we can hit him right here. We do? Look at that, man. Look how he contributes in the offense. Just absolutely amazing. As a clutch block from the card. Let's see his pace. Yeah, he's very quick. Look at him. Look how quick he is, boys. And what a ball. Wow. Nah, that's an insane pass right there. Near post, I knew he was going to move the goalkeeper. Nice finish once again, boys. Cheeky step over. What a finish. Oh, never mind. I jinxed it. He hit the post. He hit the post. Hullet makes up for the miss. Makes it 2-1. to one. We move on that. Lovely, lovely little 1-2 link up between Hullet and Mbappe. Nice run once again. His offensive runs, absolutely amazing. He reminds me a lot like the top tier strikers. All right, boys, and that concludes the review for 90 rated base icon Rude Hullet. Come around 6.6 .6 million coins on the Xbox and PlayStation extinct on the PC market. By the time I am recording this video, late Monday afternoon, we played three games with the cart, eight goals, and three assists as a center mid in a 4 2 4 formation. Very nice return for Hulle. Basically, almost the same return like if he was playing as a striker or as a winger. So obviously, the elephant in the room, he's a top 10 midfielder, 1,000% at this stage of the game. Arguably, and not even arguably, no debate, he's top 5. Definitely top 5. He even makes the argument that he's the best. He's up there with Zizou and those type of cards. It's all about preference, but for me, he's definitely top 5. So let's go over the pros which is the majority of the card, if not everything. Number one, the combination of the four-star skill moves and the five-star weak foot. That is an insane and very meta combination. Great stuff right there. 6-3 on the height. I love tall players, especially tall defenders and midfielders. Being 6-3 in the midfield, you notice that physical presence, him running around, very nice defensive AI. Everything in the defending category goes up to the 80s with the shadow chem style. Did a really nice job of reading the passing lanes. So great stuff right there. Physicality, absolutely amazing. 86 strength, 84 aggression. Top tier physicality right there. 92 stamina as well to last you most of the game, if not the whole game, because 90 plus stamina at this stage of the game is really, really good. So physicality, perfect. Defending, really, really good. It's really hard to cook this card on a one-on-one. -on -one. Trust me, guys, very difficult. Next pro, passing. Top tier five star weak foot, three assists in three games. You already know, really good passing stats 89 vision, 89 short pass, 91 long pass. Amazing stuff right there. Finishing this car finishes as good, if not better, than most strikers at this stage of the game. 86 finishing, 93 shot power, 91 long shots, eight goals in three games with that five star weak foot. So, very consistent, arguably, probably the best finisher. When it comes to being a midfielder at this stage of the game, I don't think I've tried out a midfielder with as good as finishing as this Hullet. Next pro from the card is the pace. 85 pace is very good. 83 acceleration, 86 sprint speed. Great pace split right there. Goes up to 91 and 94 with the shadow chem style. So you guys know, very quick defensively. Tracking back defensively. He's very quick on his feet. Offensively, making some great runs. You guys saw the majority of the goals from Hullet Getting into the right spot, nice and quick. So pace is very nice. Attack positioning, very nice as well. It's on 91. You guys saw, very nice offensive AI. Always at the right spot at the right moment offensively. So beautiful stuff across the board. 
when it comes to the stats on this card dribbling is actually really good from this card i'm not going to sit here and say it's as clean like a neymar or a kdb or those type of cards but it's as good as you're going to get for somebody with his height 6'3 his body type and the way he plays in game i mean 76 agility 82 balance is a little bit low but he gets compensated with the 92 reactions 89 ball control i like his step overs his step overs are very nice and overpowered so aside from maybe the agility everything else is perfect if not damn near perfect he's gonna get thumbs up for me and he's gonna get a rating of a 9.5 out of 10 absolutely amazing card had a lot of fun with him for those of you guys that tried out root hollow this year let me know in the comment section below are you guys a fan of the card this year or not and where would you guys rank him among the best midfielders in mc 25 thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos you guys are absolutely amazing so the next video i'm gonna go ahead and drop i think it's going to be a play review on that hero stom if i'm not mistaken the guy from netherlands i think i'm gonna drop a review on him and then after him it's gonna be some custom tactics i have some custom tactics for y'all boys some of you guys have been asking in the comments section i do have some custom tactics recently last weekend i got 15 and 0 on one account so it was the 424 formation so probably wednesday if not thursday i will be dropping a video on those tactics and formation and yeah you guys will let me know if you guys like those tactics or not until next time it's been your boy dan fifa i am out bye bye